verse 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, the, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Thanks, Landon. All the kids, come on up and join me. Come on up, come on up. I see several of you up there hiding. Come on, head this way. All right. How's everybody doing? Good? There we go. Open that up for me, would you please? I appreciate your reading. Good job. Good job. You know what? I don't have I don't have uh, any props today for you, okay? Any, you know, sometimes I have an illustration or something. And the only the only illustration I have today is praying hands. Can you make praying hands? Show me. Show me your praying hands. Do you have praying hands? Yeah? Okay. There you go, yeah, praying hands. And that's, you know, you don't have to do that with your hands when you pray, right? You can do crazy stuff with your hands if you want. Everyone, stick your hands, both hands way up high in the air. You might pray like that, or you might pray both hands on the ground, you know, bowing down or kneeling. And you can talk to God anytime, any place, with any hands, okay? That's important, I want you to know that. So, so yes, this has kind of come to symbolize praying for us, but you, there's nothing special about about those, uh, about that particular, uh, those hands, right? You can pray to God anytime, anywhere, about anything. That's what we're going to do a little bit today uh, during our, our lesson time is, is talk to God. We're going to pray to Him, okay? Are, are there some things, maybe you're going through some things right now in school with friends, or maybe in your family uh, that you're worried about and, and you're concerned about. And maybe, maybe it's your own behavior. Oh, I wish I could be good, but something in me doesn't let me be good sometimes. You know what? Talk to God about that. Okay? Talk to God about that. Ask Him about that. Ask Him to help you. And He loves you. Just as that first song we sang this morning. He loves you so much and He wants to help you uh, in what, with whatever it is that you're struggling with. All right? I want you to know that. We'll be talking about, not just talking about prayer, but praying. Uh, this morning. Come on, I see some of you brought a dollar to give back to God. Come, get put that in the leaves jar. And head back to your seats. All right. If you'll turn to Acts chapter 2 uh, this morning. Acts chapter 2. Uh, we, we haven't done this in a while. What we're going to do, I'll to be preparing. I, wish, I, I probably should have mentioned this uh, during our earlier songs. Uh, we want to go into a time of prayer. And uh, um, you'll have to excuse my voice. I know some of you are wrestling with that too. Some cold things, some fog in the air on mountain. And, and it affects each person differently. So I'm, uh, I have a lozenge in my mouth here. Uh, so we're going to have a time of prayer. And what I want to do is make that really accessible. And so I'm going to be taking some prayer requests, and I, but I want to be a little bit selfish with, with our time. Um, I, I'm a, I want to be a little selfish for you. I understand you have loved ones and friends in different places that, that you're praying for, that you've even brought to our, our attention, and we're praying for, and certainly that is good. And, but in, in the limited time we have together this morning, I, I, want, I want the things that are on, on your heart in particular. Say, I, I, I need prayer for this. I'm going through this. Uh, and I want us to, to be pretty open uh, with each other. If we can, whatever is appropriate for us to share publicly. Um, the, um, during the invitation song, the song that we'll sing next here in about 15, 20 minutes, and the song following that, we have two more songs after I speak. And I'm going to be back in the back, and we'll maybe in the, the hospitality room, the water fountain room there. And so during those songs, there might be something that you want to share and receive prayer that's not appropriate to share. Maybe you're just not brave enough to share with the whole church family. And so I'm going to be back there. I just want any doorway I can open to make sure that you have a chance uh, to receive prayer. I also want you to know there's nothing extra powerful about my prayer. Okay? There's nothing extra. Even, even this morning, Del was always so nice. I was back there and she, she looked back and said, you know, oh, hi, hi, Pastor. And I was like, oh, just call me David. I'm not the pastor of this church. And, and uh, just call me David. Said, okay, David. She was so uh, uh, gracious about that. And there's nothing special about that. At the same time, I understand you look to your servant leaders, uh, but I'm not, I'm not even the only one of them. Uh, Tom, of course, he's in Thailand, so he's not here with us. But you see, uh, we have Art with us this morning. We have Charles uh, with us. We have Kevin with us. Those are your leadership team. 
And you can, I guarantee, I'm speaking for them, anytime you need prayer and you find one of them and you want one of them to pray for you, be glad to pray for you. And so I just want to keep leading us into being more prayerful as a people. I, I've confessed to you, I don't consider that one of my relative strengths. Okay, as much time as I spend studying and teaching and learning and, and you know, those in, in that area, relative to that, I don't consider praying uh, a, a strength. And I even thought about uh, sharing with you, uh, you know, here, here's some things that I'm, I'm actively doing in my life to try to do that. I'll, I'll just share one. Um, in the mornings, I'll get up and I'll have some time, devotional time, and I'll have uh, several different resources. And kind of usually one of those sparks me in some deeper deeper study or thought. Uh, I'm, I'm still in, uh, I had quit for a while, but I picked back up the uh, Jesus Calling book. How many are still in Jesus Calling? You're still using that. Okay, a small handful of us. And that's a great place to start. And, and so I, 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 I go there. Other things, I have certain websites that are devotionals that I go to. And what I find myself doing, if I'm not careful in my morning time, is I'll get into one of those, and one of those will be really good, and it'll, okay, oh, I want to study that. Oh, wow, I didn't realize that. And so I'll go into the, you know, the Bible and read that section, and then, you know, some 30, 45 minutes later, I'm out of time, and I'm rushing, and i got to get to my next thing, and I don't spend any time in prayer. And so what I've done recently is I've, I've gone to the Jesus Calling, but I don't, I don't have any of the other resources with me. And that obviously scripture is good, and it, it, it brings some scripture there at the bottom. But I begin with prayer, because I'm having to discipline myself to say, wait, don't get too wrapped up in study. Pray, pray, all right? And so there are other things I could do, and I thought about sharing with you um, of why I don't think that's a strength of mine, or here's what I do currently. Um, but I know what would happen is that the specifics of that would get in the way of what I'm trying to do this morning. But some of you would say, it's like, Oh, wow, you're saying that's not very good. You do all that. I must be really terrible, right? That's not the goal. Others, I hope, I know some of you are prayer people. And some of you would hear me explain, you know, say, here's where I'm at currently in my own prayer life and say, wow, that's, that's why you pray. You're the future. You don't spend four or five hours a day and on your knees in prayer. And, you know, what, what's wrong with you? And so, so it's somewhere in between. It's somewhere in between, okay, four minutes and four hours a day that I spend in prayer. And so maybe you're in between somewhere there, too. But the point is that we can come to God. Uh, Landon read it for us. I want to, Acts chapter 2, real quickly, then I want to be thinking about your prayer requests. And I'll take those, we'll, we'll just slow down and have a time of prayer. But Acts chapter 2, Landon read the first verse of that. This is a snapshot into the early church, starting in verse 42. It says, the disciples, okay, that's just fancy words for people who follow Jesus. The Jesus followers were devoted to the teachings of the apostles. We, we, we do that quite well, I think, here. Um, if you're not in the habit of coming on Wednesday nights, uh, and if you if you're, can do that, we know it's hard to come, especially those of you who live toward town. And uh, we're actually we're talking about some things where we might do like a video, a live video feed into town, into someone's house. And so that will pick up some of you town people, Hawaii Kai people, and oh, you guys... You're, 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 my, you're my heroes. You drive all the way over here even on Sunday morning. And so I, I know it's not realistic to get here typically on a Wednesday night uh, from that direction. Uh, but if you can come on a Wednesday night, I think we do well with study. I think we, we explore scripture. I think on Sunday morning, typically this time is not prayer time. It's, it's study time, right? So I think we do well with that. We, we commit ourselves to the same thing they did back then during Jesus' time, right after the time of Jesus. So to the teachings of the apostles. Since so they devoted themselves to fellowship. I think we do a decent job of that. Uh, we have men's breakfast coming up next Saturday. There's an opportunity for that. Uh, look for a work day coming up soon. So we'll be serving as well as fellowshipping. Our monthly aloha uh, Sundays and lunches and potluck. You know, we have, uh, we have time for that. I think we could improve in that area in, these, in smaller settings. And, and I'm, 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 I'm curious as to what that might look like, how to foster that uh, more and more. Um, if we're not careful, you heard me kind of stumbled through that last week, kind of some of the things that I'm, I'm questioning and struggling with as far as the effectiveness of what we do when we come together on Sunday morning. That if we're not careful, we kind of, uh, we, we act, we do all the religious things, which aren't bad, but sometimes they become empty and they lose their meaning. We need fresh expressions of that. If we're devoting ourselves to God, if we're encouraging one another, um, so we're looking at that. I wonder, even this morning is a, is a small step in that direction. We're just going to stop and pray. Okay? So we devote our, they devoted themselves to fellowship, um, to biblical teaching, to the breaking of bread, 
Uh, and that, that's a hard phrase. In, in the first century, that meant around a, a, meal, a meal. They would they would eat together, at least at this time, uh, early in the church uh, history of the church. But they would always have what we call communion in the middle of that meal. And, and so we, we we did that. We did our own version of that. And um, so we we broke bread and and around the Lord's table and drank the juice and remembered the sacrifice of Jesus. And so the final thing they devoted themselves to was to prayer. To prayer. And I think of, of those, I think maybe as a body, maybe that's our weakest point of those, those four. And, and this year, we're, we're trying to do some things, and even I don't even think we've done well at, at, uh, at, at trying to help that. And so this morning is a kind of a step in that direction, all right? So, so more than anything, kind of some deep breaths, we relax, we're going to take some prayer requests, I'm going to write them down, okay? Uh, but again, I'm, I want to be selfish, I want to be selfish for you. Okay, things that you're going through. Okay, what, what, what is that? Are there some financial struggles? Are there some family issues that are going on? Again, um, you know, me measure the appropriateness of sharing those things um, here. Uh, I probably won't be bringing up all the problems I have with my wife, you know, asking you to pray for that here. I'll, I'll bring that up privately. And, um, um, and uh, so measuring that. But what, 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 what's going on? What, what can you share? Don't, don't leave this morning carrying out the same burdens that you brought in. There's someone at the gym, and he's visited uh, uh, only one time, but several times a week he'll come to me and say, oh, I want to come again, I want to come again. And, and he's pretty open. He says, I'm not really, you know, I'm not very religious, and I'm, I'm not really, you know, in, into that. And, um, but what I know is the time I went, I just left. The worst thing that's going to happen is you, feel, you leave feeling a little more encouraged. And he, I, I used this illustration when he was here. He quotes it about every week to me. And he says, I remember, uh, he'll even tell someone else, okay, there at the gym. Oh, yeah, you know, he, he, he's the preacher in, uh, at this church. And one of the things he said is that they put a big rubbish can right there by the, by the door. And he said, when you come in, or at least before you leave, leave, drop a couple burdens in there. Drop a couple burdens in there and leave a little lighter, you know. And when we're done, we'll, we'll throw it in the, in the rubbish can. It gets picked up on Monday, so it won't sit here very long anyway, okay? It gets picked up tomorrow. So as you leave, dump a little bit right there. Because I think we do well at coming around the table. We do that every week. I think we do well at studying. We'll continue to do that. I think we do decent with fellowship. We're looking for ways to deepen that in smaller groups. And, but to, for prayer... For prayer, I don't know how well we foster that because the things that we usually talk to God in our private time, in our private prayer time, it's those, those most intimate things, right? It's our fears. Um, it, it's also our thanks and our celebrations, absolutely. But I think sometimes it's those burdens. And if we're not careful, one of, one of Satan's most favorite tools, one of, his, one of his most favorite tools is isolation. You can't share that here. You can't really tell them that. Now again, I want to be available to you personally. Email, text, phone call. We'll go to lunch, okay, throughout the week. I know our leaders, the, the, the men on our leadership team want to be available to you as well, so know that that's available. But I'm interested in actually providing opportunities when we gather to foster that. We won't, not, not this morning, but some things I'm thinking about. We might have other prayer time, and it might be we, 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 live, we station our leadership team uh, people around the room, and it's during some songs that we're playing. Go, go find one of them and share with them a little bit. We'll have five prayers going on at once and, and you go and share privately so that you're being prayed for. Uh, I, I think there's opportunity just even in the team room behind us that during our, our worship time that we station a, cu a couple. That way if it's a woman and only feels comfortable sharing something that's more appropriate uh, woman to woman, um, that there's always a couple there uh, that's there just to receive you and receive prayer. And, and, and so just a ways to foster that. Okay? So we'll be looking for maybe some of those things to, to uh, come up as we uh, try to strengthen our time of prayer together. So for the next uh, 10, 15 minutes, let me take some uh, prayer requests. I have my pen here.